Another mode of pump failure, although a little bit less common, um, is to have the pump head placed on incorrectly. Now, this is unique to pumps that have been serviced in the field. In other words, look for cases where this pump has recently been worked on in some way. The pump head is uh, opposite the bracket into the pump and can be placed in different orientations. And if it is, what we're gonna find out is that the uh, pump exhibits itself in different ways. So let's start with, uh, we took the pump head off, we placed it on and it's off by one bolt hole. Uh, it's either clockwise or counterclockwise from the position it needs to be oriented on that head. Uh, if that happens, what we're gonna find is we're going to get partial capacity. Uh, in other words, we're expecting for a pump of that size and a pump running at that speed, uh, a full flow and we're only getting maybe 60-40% of what we would expect that pump to deliver. Uh, another more unusual scenario is what happens if we pump, put the pump head on completely backwards, in other words upside down from where it should have been. Uh, what's going to happen then is that actually flow is going to be reversed, in other words uh, we're drawing from the discharge piping and pushing into the suction piping. Uh, a common call we get when that happens is we're getting no flow out the outlet piping, however, we're getting bubbles in our supply tank. And this is because it's drawing the air out of the discharge piping and pushing it back into the supply tank. Now, remedying this is simple enough. We just need to get that pump head placed on properly. So we would drain off the pump, pull the pump head off, and then get it into the proper orientation. Uh, the images here are gonna show you those different orientations depending on where your pump casing is oriented. Basically imagine that between those two pump ports, there's an imaginary line drawn uh, symmetrically through that pump casing. The idler pin and crescent are going to be placed on that line with the pin closer to the two ports and the crescent placed further away. Um, also on most Viking internal gear pumps, you're gonna find some tick marks that are cast into the head and casing. Those marks need to be aligned to make sure that pump head is in the proper orientation and the pump is gonna be operating correctly. 